subscribe to the channel. If you are subscribed, become a channel member by clicking join for everything robotics. Robotics 101 is available and the link is in the comments section of this video. If you are looking to build your own quadruped robot, look no further than the dingo. A little background. A pair of student engineers at Monash University saw this as an opportunity to build a quadrupedal robot that is somewhere in between existing options in terms of functionality and cost. So they set out to design and build a robot for education and research purposes that was affordable, robust, expandable, and aesthetically pleasing. After several months of design and testing, they accomplished that goal with a robot they call the Dingo. It may not be as large as Boston Dynamic Spot, but it is quite capable for research. And it only costs about $1,500. The Dingo weighs about 3 kilograms and is 25 centimeters tall, with a length and width of 38 by 25 centimeters. It can be directly controlled with a PlayStation controller or a computer keyboard, and it also is equipped with a Raspberry Pi single board computer for running more advanced control algorithms. An Arduino Nano was included for handling extra peripherals like analog sensors. With a LiPo battery, the Dingo can continuously operate for about 25 minutes, and there is power to spare for additional components a user may need to add on for their specific use case. It is possible to control the robot's pitch, roll, yaw, and height using the included control system. The robot's top speed is 30 centimeters per second, and it can move in any direction. And because the dingo can carry a payload of up to 500 grams, it can physically carry lots of additional sensors, actuators, and more for expandability. Each of the four legs is powered by a trio of servo motors, each capable of producing 35 kilograms centimeters of torque. These motors are placed in a clever arrangement, in which one sits on top of the other, such that these heavy components can be tucked inside the robot's body, which reduces leg inertia and makes for smoother movements. Full state feedback is provided in both joint and task space such that advanced control and decision-making algorithms can be developed and the motors are fan-cooled to increase their lifespan. The robot body is in a nicely finished custom case that includes USB and Ethernet ports on the back, alongside a small LCD display that can be used for any number of purposes, like displaying the status of the battery. There is a button on top of the dingo that immediately cuts off power to the actuators but not the control systems in case of trouble during experimentation. Using the gazebo simulation software, the team also created a virtual replica of their robot. This allows control algorithms to be tested in simulation, and also enables the collection of training data for reinforcement learning algorithms that can then be transferred to the physical hardware. The Dingo looks to be a very promising platform for research into quadrupedal robots where budget is a concern. The team hopes that their device will be widely used in the future, and towards that end, they have released their source code and CAD models. The link is in the comments section of this video. We are in an extremely digital age, look all around. Robotics is the future and robots are everywhere, at home and at the workplace. You can find robots in manufacturing, hospitals, and on farms, the US. Bureau of Labor Statistics BLS puts robotics engineers in its category for mechanical engineers. The organization's projections show 9% job market growth from 2016 through 2026, which is as fast as average. The BLS expects the addition of 25,300 jobs over the forecast period. Gain a competitive edge in the field of robotics for your child or yourself by becoming a premium robotics member. Perks of becoming premium robotics member include member-only robotics videos, robotics engineering tutoring and mentorship on robotics projects. This membership is the brainchild of renowned robotics engineer, Cash Willis. Cash Willis is a McNair Scholar and National Science Foundation STEM Scholar. Become a member by subscribing to this channel and then clicking the button join.